What's up guys? In this video we are talking about Laos. You're gonna learn why and when you should visit this beautiful country. Hey guys, it's Patrick and today we are talking about Laos. If you are looking for a country to visit in Southeast Asia, you should definitely consider Laos. It's not going to be the easiest country to visit if you've never been to Asia before, but if you have, you should definitely consider this place. First, let's talk when you should visit Laos. You have two main seasons in Laos. Dry season from November till April and wet season since May till October. And of course, the first thought is, I don't want to go there in the wet season, right? I want to go in the dry season. That was our thoughts exactly. And we have read many, many different travel blogs and most of them had the same opinion. Don't go during the wet season because it's raining every single day. So this is actually a good thought, but consider this. During the dry season, you are not going to see any of this. No, there are no rice fields. All of them were like completely dry. Like dry, dry, dry. So that's one thing that you should consider. On the other hand, during the wet season it's raining it's going to rain probably every day it's not like in my country that when it rains it's raining all day like with the small drops no probably most of the time you have like the heavy rain for one two hours and then it will be all right so second thing you need to think about is what you want to see in laos what we did we went from thailand to luang Prabang. From there we went to Van Vien. From Van Vien we went to Vientiane. And from Vientiane we went to the south to 4,000 islands. Since there is quite a lot I would like to tell you about Laos, I've decided to split it into two parts. So today we are talking about Luang Prabha and Van Vien. And in the next episode we will tell you something about Vientiane and 4,000 islands. Oluan Prabha is mostly known for the waterfall. The first thing you're gonna see when you arrive to Guangxi waterfall is the bear rescue center. You're gonna see a few bears just having fun playing and this is actually a very nice start of the day. The waterfall itself is located about 45 minutes ride from Luang Prabha and you can get there by many different means of transport. You can rent a bike or a scooter for yourself, you can go by shared or private tuk-tuk, and you can go by shared minivan. This is actually what we did. Once you arrive to the waterfall, you will have to pay the entrance fee, which is 20,000 kip per person. Just make sure to pay the entrance fee by yourself, because what happens quite often, and this is actually what happened to us as well, is that the bus drivers take the money from you and they don't buy the ticket, just keep the money for themselves. So make sure to buy the ticket by yourself. All right. Let's take a look on the main waterfall right now. The waterfall is open every day since 8.30 am and this is actually the best time to visit it because you will avoid the crowds. Most of the minivans start their way from Luang Prabang at 9, so they will reach the waterfall around 10. And at 10, the place is already crowded with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people. And believe me, you won't avoid this. For the waterfall, you're gonna need like two, three, but I would suggest even four hours because there is a lot to do. You can watch the waterfall, you can take a swim there, you can go around and see it from the top. And what you can see right now on the screen, you can go to the secret pool. In 
in Luan Prabang we also went to the night market. The night market starts in the late afternoon. You will find here many local vendors selling their own products. You will find some clothes, some equipment, some souvenirs and many, many more. So if you are into that kind of stuff, this is definitely a place for you. What is the most important is that the prices are very affordable. You will find here also many stands with food and fruit shakes, so you can make your evening complete. <laughs> Perfect! Right next to the night market, there's a very nice spot to enjoy the sunset. Just follow the steps for about 5, maybe 6 minutes and you will find yourself on the mountain and you will see the whole Luan Prabang in front of you. Thank you. What do we know about Vaming? It's the most party place in Laos. It is. You have many pubs there, you have many clubs, you have many Europeans, Australians, uh, people from the United States, many, many foreigners partying, having fun. Uh, one of the biggest attractions there is tubing. Basically, you go into the river on a tube and you are going from one bar to another. Sounds like fun, right? If you don't want to do the tubing, there are many other things you can do. You can go hiking, you can rent a bike and go around, you can do some rock climbing and you can take a ride in a hot air balloon. I heard it's one of the cheapest places to do it in the world. For a ride you will pay about 80 US dollars and I think this is a very good price. When you are in Van Vien, make sure to go to our favorite spot. Just a few kilometers away from the city, there is a very nice viewpoint. You will have to pay the entrance fee, which is 10,000 kip per person, and you will have to climb for approximately half an hour. Make sure to bring some water with you, because the road itself, it's not that easy. This is way more demanding than we thought from down there. But I think we are almost there. Take a look. Right on the top there is a very nice place to relax. So you can stay there as much time as you want. We heard stories about one guy who came for the sunset and stayed until the sunrise. So we have reached the top of the hill. I don't remember the last time I was sweating so much. But as you can see, it was worth it. Directly from the viewpoint you can go to the Blue Lagoon where you can swim, swing and zipline into the water. Keep in mind that this place is very touristic and to be honest we didn't like it that much. Alright guys, so let's summarize what we just saw. If you are into old buildings, sightseeing and discovering local culture, you should definitely make your way to Luang Prabang. If, on the other hand, you are more into outdoor activities, having fun and partying, you should make your way to Van Vien. Okay, so that's it for today. If you enjoyed, make sure to come back to this channel because in the next video we are talking about Vientiane and 4000 Islands.